Yo, what's up YouTube, it's your buddy Aaron, and I'm making this video to pretty much show how to re greatly reduce or eliminate lag in Skyrim for the PC. Now, I did some experimenting, and right now I'm playing on a laptop that is not built for gaming, so this video is for people who have, people who have a computer that is not built for gaming, so, you know... If you get Skyrim, it probably runs really slow, really choppy. And for people who it just runs a little choppy and want some fixes, this should greatly improve. Huh. <sighs> so, I'll post my PC specs in the description below so you guys can see, you know, compare it. And if, if your computer is any worse than mine, it might not fix it enough to be playable, but... My my laptop's pretty crappy, so I'm hoping I can help. We've got a couple of fixes. Um, the first one is I'm going to need you to open up your Skyrim launcher. Click on Options. And then at Graphics, um, at Aspect Ratio, make sure it's Standard, Resolution, 800 by 600. Set these two to Best Performance, and then make sure the detail is set on Low. Alright. And then... I'm, for the sake of this video, I'm going to play it in window mode. Somebody said that um, it plays faster in window mode, but I'm not sure. So, I'm just playing it in window mode because Camtasia doesn't record full screen games. Then click OK, and next, before you go and try and play, the next thing you're going to have to do is download, um, go into the link in the description to download Vanilla Reduced Textures, and it'll let you lower the textures even more. Um, so, real quick, close it out. That box is what you're going to see once it downloads. Um, you're going to want to <coughs> go to this page, click on Downloads right here, and then it'll bring you to these down here. Um, scroll down to the Optional Files, and click Download Manually under the 256 Loose Textures. Alright, once you do that, you're going to be prompt with what servers to get this from um i usually just choose the bottom one cuz it doesn't seem to be different either way choose one that seems closest to you though i think dallas texas is closest to me so i usually just choose that cuz i'm not sure how that works if any of you've used nexus mods to get your mods for oblivion or skyrim and you know what that is if you could please um Anyways, I've already downloaded it because I'm, t I'm telling you now, it takes a long time to download. It takes about half an hour to download, and then it takes a good five minutes before it even starts. So, good thing I've already got it downloaded. After you allow this to download, I'm going to exit that out. Uh, here it is right here. See, this This is you, you want to get this folder right here. Okay, so... Uh, yeah. Anyways, go to Start Computer, and I am using a cracked Skyrim, so I'll um, put a link to the video I used to get that in the description. I'm sure you know how to locate your Skyrim data files. You want to go to your C directory, go to Program Files, and then this is where it may change for you. You may have to click on Bethesda Softworks, or you may have to scroll down to the Elder Scrolls v Skyrim, or if you downloaded this game via Steam, you may have to click on Steam, then click on Steam Apps, then Common, and it'll show you all the games you bought from Steam. These are the only two games I've bought on my computer, all the other ones I got for free. Anyways, if you aren't using Steam, <coughs> go to Bethesda Softworks, or scroll down here to Elder Scrolls v Skyrim, go to the Data Folder, and then as you see, I already installed it earlier. You're going to want to drag and drop this in here. If you've already had some kind of textures installed, you're going to want to wait till this finishes and you'll be prompt to replace a bunch of stuff. So give this a second. And I hope I'm speaking very clear. I've been known to slur my words, you know, not speak very clearly, and my mic is of poor quality, so I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure I'm speaking clear enough for you guys to hear me, or understand me. Alright, so, it's going to tell you you want to merge, yes. 
if it doesn't ask you that, then obviously you don't have um, a texture installed. So if it asks you this, click do for all current items, click yes, wait for it to finish. Alright, all items, move and replace. Alright, so once that goes away, it's done. So go back to your Skyrim folder, um, click on Skyrim in the Skyrim folder, and then double click on Skyrim Preferences. It may say Skyrim Preps.ini or INF. Um, click on it, and it'll bring up this little notepad right here. What you're going to want to do is the, the second section is display and at the very end of display right before the grass section it'll end with IMAX decals per frame equals 10. <clears throat> you won't have this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to enter in a new line under IMAX decals per frame equals 10 and you're going to want to type in I present interval equals 0 with a lowercase i capital P and capital I all one word equals zero alright so then after you do that you want to scroll down until you see uh, where is it right somewhere above particles it says B mouse acceleration equals zero you're gonna want it for you it will say one you're gonna want to high you're gonna want to delete that one and you're gonna want to change that into a zero so then you're gonna need to save this but for some of you you can just click file and click save and then exit out but if you get prompt with um, where to save it to then it's gonna tell you access denied so what you're gonna need to do is save it to the desktop and then come back in here and delete this and then drag and drop it back into here so that's how you're gonna wanna do that and also you might wanna back up the file before doing that I wish I would have told you before that editing it because you might screw up the game so you're gonna wanna back up the file anyways after you do that that should be all we have to do so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into Skyrim and see um... With anyone. Oh! Huh. So, anyways, I'll put all this junk in the description below. Uh, leave a comment below in case you had any problems. I'm, I hope I can help with anything. And that's pretty much it. Subscribe for more, and peace.